what is this? Oh, wait, I see the <laughs> hold on. I see the thing on there. I didn't see the uh, I didn't see the countdown right there in front at first. we got we got oh come the fuck on <laughs> i hate when they do this shit a countdown but a countdown is a countdown <laughs> just countdown inception i'm sick of these niggas man <laughs> Here we go. Now we're getting to it. Let's get to the shits. Hi, everyone. I'm Asad Kizilbash, head of product at PlayStation Studios and head of PlayStation Turn Productions. I'm here to welcome one of the newest members of the PlayStation Hi, everyone. Studios family. I'm Asad Kizilbash, head of product this team brings at PlayStation together Studios some of the most talented and head of PlayStation Productions. In I'm here to welcome one of the newest members of the PlayStation Studios family in our industry. Firewalk. With an this team brings together some of the most talented developers in our industry. With an incredible pedigree. Incredible pedigree in the using some of the cool characters you'll find in the Concord Galaxy. Enjoy. So. I missed it. My thing started messing up. Is you? Is this Concord? Intercept, blue buddy. Uh, is he falling? I feel like I'm watching the Avengers. I mean, not Avengers. What was it? The Guardians of the Galaxy. It was a spontaneous creative decision made after years of careful research. Being really old and almost dying a bunch doesn't count as research. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Besides, it worked, didn't it? How much longer for the upload? Uh, a few more minutes. Hey, start up. Try it with hot sauce. You'll like it. Trust me. No, no, no. Do not trust him. Whoa. Where is this coming from? It's coming from you back on the ship saying, trust me, we're professionals. We'll stick to the plan. We can do this. And then that. Three gunner suspects oh. now on the run, <laughs> causing that was not the plan. Technically, it was a plan. It just wasn't the same plan that we started with. If we don't leave with this blue Amar, body, we will. We will. He about to get them all fucked up. I'll be waiting outside. I like her. I don't know. Oh, shit. No one moves. We'll be taking this off your hands. What? This? Funny. Shit, okay. Them down a little for you. Meet at the rendezvous point. Good shit. Good, good shit. Copy that, Bill. Well played. Fine. He only got one of my legs. But how are those hands? Oh, okay. Yeah, I like her. You're still mad at me? I like her. Lennox! Got him. Oh. One off, this is you! Got him! 
I am developing a taste for destruction. They always gotta have some sassy robot in these things. <laughs> I fuck with it though. I fuck with it. This is cool. I just wish we could see some gameplay. This would be a very dishonorable way for us all to die. Don't worry. Nobody's dying dishonorably. And also, we're bringing this back with us. Hey. Hey, Mark. What are you doing? Getting us to the rendezvous point. Oh, this bitch gonna let go? No! What is you doing? Perhaps we should have let go also. One off. Do not dare. Well, we were supposed to stick together. If you and let go, I swear, leave me. swear I will be. Oh, injured. look, there they are. Hi. What the? God. I am glad you avoided a dishonorable death. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Or something. I knew this was gonna work. This wasn't the plan. No, it just wasn't the one we started with. Oh, this could be a movie. I would watch this. Good delivered. I send everyone their cut. Ooh, yeah. So do you like carry it around with you for emergency bland situations or whatever? Hey, Mara. Hmm? Don't joke about something like this. <laughs> Our next job is somewhere with less scaffolding. We'll have no scaffolding. Zero scaffolding. I, I promise. <sighs> We were apart for so long. I, I thought I'd never feel your fiery embrace again. You sound ridiculous. That's Comcord. <laughs> Dude, man, that looks fun. All right, look, I mean, as far as like the story, it looks it looks like a fun story. Concord is a 5v5 first person shooter set in the vibrant sci-fi universe of the Concord Oh, wait, it's Galaxy. a 5v... Oh my Concord, God, it's a hero shooter? You log on, you're part of the crew of the North Star, a group of guns for hire known in our galaxy as free gunners. Free gunners are those lucky enough to be free to roam the stars. They take high stake jobs on worlds across wild space where they face other fiercely competitive free gunner crews. Here's the very first look at the gameplay of Concord. It's a freaking hero shooter. Oh my God. Why, why, you should have did this one as a, but it's our work. as a, take it for for, as a co-op uh, FPS game. Well, first person shooter game. Right on target. Yeah, you better run. Free gunners have a shot at making something of themselves. A chance to be someone. All right. I mean, it could be fun. I'm not going to say I'm not going I'm not going to say like, you know, it's terrible because it's a hero shooter. It's just it's not what I was hoping it was going to be. But it, I'm still going to play it. I, fix myself up. I hope there's going to be like a story, like a campaign for it, because it looked fun. And in the wilds, it's anyone's game. You won't survive on your own. Target blinded. Finally, to battle. What endless rage! We risk our lives every day to do the job. I'll clear the way. One off. Time to show them the big guns. That's me. Yo, is he, was he even getting shot? This crew will go anywhere. Was that dude even hitting him? Take any job. Face any enemy. crew of the North Star and together we're going to make our mark on this galaxy oh boy all right man like the crew is gathering would you like to join us for game night with Concord, we lean on the strengths and background of our team to make a tight, well-balanced FPS that feels great to play. We focused a ton of our attention and our tech on building a strong gameplay foundation of tight core movement, precise visceral shooting, and expressive abilities. We ended up finding ourselves influenced a lot by fighting games and even strategy games in the interesting way that the asymmetry of their characters makes every fight, every matchup feel really different. 
Leaning into the asymmetry of the characters, really pushing the possibility space of two different characters colliding. It's all about creating opportunities for improvisation. That's where we can get out of the way. Oh, no. Whoa, whoa. What's that? that, that <laughs> what was that? that? Was that? <laughs> okay. What, what character is that? Because I like that. Whether that's multiple rounds of a mode. Or I like that shit. A little, little side the side somersault pads, thingy. Bullet blocking domes. Oh, I'm going off with that lane blocking walls, all kinds of ways Shit. to support your team or disrupt your enemies. Coordinated teams can set up and plan ahead, and depending on where and when it happens, players can shift the battlefield to their advantage. We've got everything from mystics and medics Holy to gunslingers and sparked robots. That's wrong, that's Every me. Character I'm sorry. Brings their I'm sorry. Own unique personality, that didn't happen. Skills, <laughs> and wide-ranging perspectives to the crew. Every week when you log into Concord, I'm, sh you'll be I'm sure she was made fun of for that. That's that not that's not nice. That's not nice. I'm sure she was made fun of in, in school for they that one. Feature ongoing narrative Herbal. arcs that grow the character's stories and relationships. I apologize. And unpack the broader Concord galaxy. Why are you kissing a tchotchke? We're excited to share that we'll be hosting a pre-launch beta in July, followed by Concord's global Ooh. launch on August 23rd, 20. Okay, a pre-launch beta. I'm gonna have to. I have to remember that. Let me get my sticky notes. That was good. I like that. See. I know the beta said June in June, so. That's definitely one I'm gonna have to check out. I was that was iffy on. Oh, got a wait. Is Ragnarok already on PC? You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm, reasonable person? I don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? Like I was, I was pretty disappointed the fact that it wasn't going to be a first person. Uh, I mean, a uh, uh, story based first person shooter, because like the like, you know, the, the characters felt it felt like Suicide Squad, not, su not just Suicide Squad, but uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So I was like, you know, that that could be really fun, a fun game, because I like the dynamic with all of them. They're they're all they're funny, but I'm, I'm not going to write it off. I'm not going to write it off. Uh, I want to see, you know, how the game feels, especially that one character that was doing the side flips. I want to play as I want to play as them. Is, is this Assassin's Creed uh red? No. Soldiers and officials alike oppress the people for personal gain. And the people must turn to thievery for food. Is it Assassin's This isn't Assassin's Creed Red. This is the other one. This is Heaven's way of lamenting This, this is that mobile one, isn't it? Men are powerless at the feet of the divine. But even so, someone must act. Oh, no, it's not Assassin's Creed. Oh, it's Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, it's Dynasty Warriors. I haven't played Dynasty Warriors since the one that came out on like the PSP. I haven't even I haven't even seen gameplay of a Dynasty Warriors game in like since then. It looks fun. Dynasty Warriors Origins. Ooh, 2025. Oh, man. <laughs> That's all right. I want to check that one out. Momo, I think I was dreaming. It wasn't a dream. <gasps> we were really transported to Miraland. What is this? The path of a stylist is never easy. 
What kind of switch shit is this? Oh hell no! Ah, uh, get this sh get the shit off my monitor. <laughs> what is this? It's like something for somebody's kid. It's a it's one of them cutesy games. That's all right. Not for me. Not for me. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Get this shit. Get this off of here. Next. Next. Is it you who pursues infinity? Out of here. Next. Or is infinity awaiting you? Oh, hey, hold up. Whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Who was that? Stars. Shields. What is this? I've seen the miracles you so clay until the towering shadows vanished into the mist. The frick is this? I pray for their grace, but all that came were inferior shades. Why do we have to be? Oh, ooh. Okay, yeah, this is a PlayStation game, all right. Mortality. Well, that's gonna awaken something in me. These essences shall not fall into your treacherous hands. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what, what, what is this? What game is this? I'm buying it. Dust of forgotten miracles. Rain fire from above. <laughs> This is like like a switch axe or something. Remember, no matter what happens, like play tail or something. This <laughs> world. Hugo, what is that? Ballad of Antara. Oh, that's a day. That's a day one. That that's a that's a day one right there. That that looks fun. What is this? A V oh it's a VR game. Guy dances behemoth. That that uh ballad of Antara? That ballad of Antara game, that that's a day one buy. I thought at first I thought it was gonna be kinda like a Souls game. Cause it kinda reminded me of like I don't know, it kinda made me feel like I was watching like a like an Elden Ring type of thing where it's like, you know, some fantasy thing with mystery and you're gonna find shit out but you got all this crazy stuff i don't know why it just makes me think of elden ring a little bit i hope i hope it is gonna be gonna have some difficulty to it but not please not a souls like i think we've i think i think i've i think we've had enough souls likes like just it's just like an, another one another one another one another one <laughs> like souls likes are gonna becoming super popular I ain't really mad at it, but you know, the poison in my not everything has to be souls like. But I'm happy that more and more people are starting to get into them. No, I didn't really get into them until after I beat Sekiro. The power of our god is immeasurable. I thought I could be a hero. Heroes don't survive the Forsaken Lands. Ooh. Only monsters do. You know, this looks like an interesting. Oh, what you gonna do with that? What are you gonna do with that bow and arrow? He's gonna just be a thorn in the foot. If it even feels it. Trevios. What is this? 
<sighs> oh, it's a horror game, isn't it? Oh, it's an alien game. Oh, hell no, I couldn't do this. I couldn't do it. I'll jump out my skin. Alien rogue incursion. Show some, uh, show some gameplay of it, though. I mean, even though I wouldn't play it, I'm too much of a bitch. But still, I want to see the gameplay. I can watch it. I just can't play it. I'm too much of a bitch. Hi, everyone. I'm Sean Benson. I'm back on State of Play to introduce more exciting titles coming to PlayStation, starting with a highly anticipated PvP shooter playable soon on PS5. PvP, a PvP shooter? Uh. Oh, uh, that, that new thing, yeah. I forgot what it was called, but the, the, the Marvel Overwatch thing. All realities converge here. Destiny awaits. Stronger together. I mean, the game looks kind of cool. I don't know if I'll I don't know if I'll really play this. I'll definitely try it out, but I don't know if I'm going to feel like I don't know if this is going to be for me. I don't really like Overwatch. It does look fun. It does look kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. I'm back, baby. Three, two, one. Last off. Yeah, of course, Spider-Man looks fun. So Spider-Man's gonna get Venom power. He's gonna have Venom power. I think they would give him the anti-Venom. My question was Spider-Man. I didn't play. I didn't play the beta, but I wonder, can you? Is there a limit on how much you can swing? Close beta. Okay. We'll, we'll check that one out. I'll check that one out. What is the freak? <laughs> this, oh, oh, hold up. Oh, I see souls elements. I see souls elements. I just said there's two. It, everything has to be a Souls like, but I'm. Oh, I see fast paced action. This is like Sekiro. This is my game. This is what I wanted. I've been wanting another Sekiro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is Sekiro. What what is it? Give me take take my money. Where wins me? Oh, where wins me? I didn't get. Didn't they have a? Didn't they just have like a demo for this? And I freaking missed it. Hello, friends and fans. I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> <laughs> Is this? this is definitely a horror game. Oh. It means so much to me that we're all still here together. Fight the break of I feel like someone's watching us. This is Jason. It's Jason, ain't it? Let's make this one trip we will never forget. Emily, I was down there. You were? It was horrible. I 
don't want to make hasty decisions. Or is this resident evil? We should stay put right here until dawn. Jessica! You can't let me die! Until Dawn. Uh -uh. I don't know anything about that. I feel like I've heard of Until Dawn. I feel like I've heard of that. Path Exile 2. I know about Path of Exile. I don't I don't think I've ever seen any gameplay of it though. was once a peaceful land, but each day descends further into madness. Famine and plague besiege us. The very earth is being poisoned. The Count's men, once our protectors, have turned on us. And now, they come for me. Oh, just get out of here! Okay, so it's like a Diablo type of thing. Okay. Definitely not. Definitely not my type of game. But these Dia these like asymmetric uh, dungeon crawler, I think is what they're called. These are like looking better and better every time I see them. I'll remove your head myself. I'm gonna have to like. I'm really gonna have to give one a try. See, like, cause I never, I've never played one. They just don't look like I would like them. Cause I don't like the, I don't like the camera angle. I hate that, that it's up high. I want to be like over the shoulder. I love over the shoulder. Or I guess over the shoulder or back behind them. The back, view. you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, like that type of game. I feel like if it was the camera, just put the camera down, I'd like it. Maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being like nitpicky about it. I have to try, I have to try one of them. Excuse me. Oh! I'm sorry, I, I was just. It's okay, I didn't mean to scare you. Okay, this I'm is Resident lost. Evil, isn't it? I'm looking for Silent Hill. Oh, Silent Hill, okay, you stay fine. away. I think every scary down, thing with a white boy. I think it's Resident and Evil. <laughs> what is that dude's name? Uh, Leon or something like that in Resident Maybe. Evil? Every time I see white dude, okay. blonde hair, I think but Leon. No I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. And I've never played Resident Evil. Because I'm a bitch. <laughs> I'm going. You can't do it. No. You shouldn't be here. Oh, uh-uh, nah. See, look, I'm, I'm out. What the hell? Oh. Ah. Uh. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. Uh, um... No, please. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm turning the game off. <laughs> I'm turning the game off. The first thing that jumps out, I'm turning the shit off. Playing Pokemon or something. <laughs> Capcom announced this next game last December, offering just a glimpse of what's in store for their celebrated franchise. Today, I am so excited to share the first full gameplay trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds. Monster Hunter Wilds. Have we not seen any gameplay of this? As soon as 
we find a good spot, spot? we can get we have ready maybe i'm thinking wild hearts we can get started maybe this i'm thinking because I'm like wow i remember wild hearts came out maybe that's why i'm thinking I'm, I'm seeing soon. this or not this but like seeing some gameplay of it I wish I could get into Monster Hunter. It looks like so much fun. I could just never, I've tried, and it, I've tried it before, and I could just never get into it. Now to lead it away from the pack. We'll make for the desert. Right. The sandstorm. No, this looks like, be looks, this looks better than the one I saw the last time I watched uh, some, some of this. Uh, Monster Hunter. Now commencing the hunt by order of the guild. Your tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> Wait, what the f oh I thought those were coming out of them. I was like, what the hell is that? I don't know. I might try I might try this. See if I can get into it. Monster Hunter just has such like a learning curve. At least when I when I last played it, it did. The last one I played was uh, uh, Monster Hunter Wild. Not Wild. This is Wild. Um, Thank you, sir. Wild Hunt. I think it was Wild Hunt. Yeah, this is Wild. This is Wild. So which which one was it? It was it. I feel like it. It might be Wild Hunt. I just know like like the very beginning of it, you had to go get these like lizard thingies, it was, like something that looked like a, like a gigantic iguana. What's the most cool? Like some big yellow iguana you had to go get with like dread. It had like dreadlock looking things. All right, what game is this? Oh, is this Astrobot? Yeah. I didn't know that Ash. Uh, what is it? It's called Astrobot. I didn't know that these like like it actually had a like this was like a like a game. This is like an actual game. I always thought it was like something that they just added on to PlayStation just to so you could see stuff. <laughs> You know, like one of those like small games that you could see like how like the power of the PlayStation. It was kind of like a like a tech demo type of thing. That's how I always looked at them. I didn't know that these are actual like like actual games. It looks fun, like a nice little chill out after work kind of game. Maybe play it with your kids. Thing is like is Astrobot supposed to be like PlayStation Mario? Like is this supposed to is this supposed to be their their version of Mario? What it kind of makes me think of. <laughs> what the freak? I love that's one of the things I really like about uh Astro Astrobot is they'll use like they'll use the the playstation stuff as part of the game <laughs> so like the spaceship is a ps5 or his little his like yeah his little strike ship is a is a controller 
it's it's so funny i like it is that kratos it was kratos Oh, so they they even use their like their IP in them too. Oh wait, was that a PS3? Astrobot, it is Astrobot. I'm gonna have to watch that trailer back. Hold on, let me see something real quick. I wanna <laughs> I gotta see if that was a PS a PS3 over there. Yeah, they were. God dang, I don't know why that thing is doing that. What do we got here? We got, yeah, these are like all old PlayStation like items. Like I remember, I remember this from the PlayStation Move, the controllers from the Move. There's a PS2, a PS3, the gun, gun right there. Oh, a PS1, the original PlayStation. Wow, man, that's that's cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. I fuck with that. I might play. I might get this. <laughs> I might get this just to chill out with. It looks fun. All right, what's next? Be sure to visit PlayStation Blog for more on the games you just saw, as well as PlayStation.com for the latest on oh, was that it? Play. This global celebration runs through June 12th, with deals on PlayStation Store, great new content coming to PlayStation Plus, and much more. Was, was that? Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yep, that was it, I think. Let's get back. Hey, let me go forward yeah that was it okay well that hey, was what's up bellier oh um, hang on so the state of, at least for me the state of play was actually really good i saw about like maybe five games that i'm definitely gonna buy day one and then a few of them that i plan to try out when the betas come out or when they come out so let me know in the comments what you thought about the PlayStation state of play or as some people have called it, the state of hay, <laughs> which I fuck with. I like it. I'm, I'm a little bit of a pony. I'm not I'm not going to lie. Uh, so I, we call, call it the state of hay if you want to. <laughs> but let me know in the comments what you thought about it. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.